this is part three to my EGR series. I'm going to do a comparison between the 6.7 Cummins EGR cooler and the Ford's 6.7 Power Stroke EGR cooler. So we're going to talk about um, the internal design. So on the 6.7 Cummins, which is your top portion of this picture here, you can see the cutaway of the internals. They utilize a uh, plate finned design. Uh, the, e the coolant flows around these plates here and the, e the um, exhaust gases flow within these plates and they've got small fins that uh, draw heat away from the uh, away from the gases. The 6.7 Cummins utilizes a single core EGR cooler design. They have never used a dual cool core cooler design. It's always been a single core design. Um, as discussed in previous videos on the pickup truck models, you can see here this is the bypass valve and then the actuator. Cabin chassis models, this is just strictly the cooler itself and the crossover tube. There aren't a lot of reported issues with the Cummins EGR cooler. Uh, they do a pretty good job um, building a pretty robust uh, EGR cooler. Uh, the post SCR um, trucks, so 2013 to current, the engines use a lot less EGR and there is no required cleaning at 67,500 miles. I may do a separate video on that, but um, there's no required cleaning, which means you don't got to take this off. Now on the Fords, they've got uh, two different designs, actually. When the 6.7 power truck was introduced in 2011, from 2011 through 2016, they used this fin design, like Cummins, but Ford uses a dual core cooler. So it's got, it's got uh, two separate cores. It's got a hot side and a cool side. Well, on the cooler side, the EGR tends to get gummed up, as you can see here. This fin plate design is kind of restrictive because you've got these tiny holes as I was showing you here and you got these fins that pull heat away from the uh, gases. Well on the cool side of the EGR cooler and the Fords it tends to get gummed up. So in 2017 Ford made a change. So from 2017 to 2019 to include 2020 and beyond they use a tubular internal design, as you see right here. This has a lot of benefits. One, these holes for the exhaust gases are a lot bigger. Chances of it getting clogged uh, are greatly reduced. What I like about the Ford EGR coolers is they are rebuildable. This back plate here, this front portion here, all of it can be removed. And this right here is your internals, your, inter your dual core um, internal design. It is one piece and you simply pull it out and replace. So if you have a 2011 through 2016 Ford Power Stroke and you don't want this design, you can actually upgrade to this design. Um, you can, and you can rebuild it yourself. It's not difficult at all, actually. It's, uh, Ford, um, did a pretty good job designing their EGR coolers in terms of being maintenance friendly as you can rebuild them. On the 6.7 Cummins, if the, if the EGR cooler would fail, you just have to get a whole new one. You can't rebuild it, so unfortunately. Uh, but again, with the Cummins uh, 2013 to current models and 2019 and beyond, um, there's not a lot of reported issues on these coolers. They, they, Cummins does a pretty good job um, building these coolers. Um, from 2007 and a half through 2012, the engines did use more EGR, and it did require a cleaning at 67,500 miles, but not post SCR. So anything 2013 to current, you don't have to clean this. So, anyways, um, just kind of a you know small deep dive, I guess you could say, into the differences between the uh, two EGR coolers uh, from the two different brands. Um, I guess summary, Cummins uses a single core design, Ford uses a dual core design. Uh, Ford EGR cooler, uh, 
did use a plate finned design, now they use a tubular design. And their EGR coolers are rebuildable, which is pretty awesome. Um, Cummins, you just gotta get a new one if if one were to fail. So, but anyway, so hope this helps out.